Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is the fifth lecture of this graph theory series part two. In this lecture, we are going to see how you can calculate the distance between two nodes in log n time. Basically, you are given q queries. In each query, you are given two nodes A and B, and you have to find the minimum distance between those two nodes. And remember, this is for tree. This doesn't apply on graphs. So suppose you are given a tree like this and you are given Q queries, each query of type AB where A and B are nodes of the tree and you have to tell the minimum distance between these two nodes. So the distance between the, uh, the two nodes, if I take some examples, distance between 6 and 9 is 2 because you have to traverse two edges to reach from 6 to 9 or to nine, uh, from 9 to 6. The distance between uh, say 6 and 3 is of length 3 because you have to traverse 1 to 3 edges uh, from 6 to 3 or you have to traverse 3 edges to go from six, uh, 3 to 6. So the actual formula if you observe this you can find out is that level of A plus level of B minus 2 times level of LCA. So you see while you are calculating the distance between 7 and 10 what you are doing uh, you are calculating the sum of level of a and b so level of a would be this that is 3 this this and this so level of 10 is 3 and level of 7 is 3 again this this and this so the overall sum comes out to be 6 but we see that uh, in the descent between 7 and 10 these two edges which we added because of level of A and level of B these two edges are of no use and these two edges are actually the distance from root or level from root to the LCA of these two nodes so what we can do we can remove these edges and we have to remove these edges two times because these two edges are added two times because of level of 10 and because of level of 7 so you can see it yourself I'm not going to uh, going to prove or going to uh, explain it in detail because this is a uh, self-explanatory so if you want to calculate the distance between two nodes it's simply level of A plus level of B but these two edges are useless which is basically the edges from root to your LCA and those two and th those edges are added two times because of a and b uh, so we have to remove those edges two times so we have to remove two times of lca so basically this problem i have taken to explain two things first the implementation of lca and second uh, uh, this is it itself a query problem where you are given two nodes and you have to find the distance between them so let's jump into the editor and start coding so first thing that we de derive is vector of in which is actually our adjacency list. I'm assuming for now that we have thousand uh, nodes at max. Though you can take tens power five or six, but for this example, I'm taking thousand nodes. We need a level array for this thousand nodes. After level array, we need LC array. For thousand and since there are thousand uh, nodes so max n as I explained in the previous uh, previous lecture max n you can take as 10 because 2 raised to the power 10 is a uh, 1 0 2 4 which is roughly a thousand so we can take max n as 10 so sorry max n plus 1 so we are defining the lc of size uh, lc array of size 1000 and max n plus 1 this is all that we need i guess and now uh, from main function n a b q n indicating number of nodes and uh, if there are n number of nodes then there would be n minus 1 number of edges because we are working on tree 
so scene a b in the adjacency list of a we would insert b in the adjacency list of b we would insert uh, pb is actually pushback in the adjacency list of b we are inserting a if you have no idea what is this this is uh, adjacency list representation of tree which i have explained in the graph theory part one series so now our graph is ready we can initialize the lca array first thing we have to do is to initialize the lca array for that of course we need init function first we will make a dfs call to root which we are assuming to be a uh, node one and in the in the dfs we need three things what dfs first thing you need is node second thing we need is level because for each node for each node we must know its level so that we can calculate the distance so second thing is level and third thing is its parent current nodes parent so that is why from init function when we are making a call to dfs we would pass one which is root and then level of root is zero and its parent is no one so we would pass minus one so when we reach dfs function what we do we initialize the level of this node to be lvl which is passed in its parameter and its direct parent direct parent of this node is parent and then in the adjacency list of this node if child is not equals to parent uh, this ensures you don't make a recursive call to parent and uh, this would make sure we don't make uh, an infinite recursive call so if that's the case then we would make the tfs call to child and its level would be level plus one and parent would be the current node so this is how dfs would look like so we are able to initialize the lca array and we are also able to initialize the level array after that the dfs call is completed we would start from one to max n we would fill all the columns i've explained all of this in the previous lecture so if you have no idea what's going on just watch out uh, go and watch the previous lecture now for each node one to n if what we are going to do we are going to calculate the two raised to power ith parent of each node so as explained earlier if for node j its i minus one th parent exists if that's the case then lc of j of i minus one would be uh would not be equal to minus one would be some non-negative value oh yeah we have to initialize the lc array for each node to be minus one so for each node in i is equals to one to i plus n and j from 0 to max n each place of lca we would initialize with minus 1 which indicates that okay currently the uh gth parent of ith node doesn't exist so this is the initialization phase uh, so if for node j it's i minus one th two raised to power i minus one th parent doesn't exist then it's uh, two raised to power i th parent doesn't exist i've already explained this so i'm not going into the details so what we do we first calculate the intermediary parent node using this for node j it's i minus one th parent and for node j its ith parent would be i minus oneth parent of his intermediate node uh, intermediary node so this is how we initialize the 
LCA array. Now we need to write down a function which returns LCA of two nodes. So what we do first thing we do is if level of B is smaller than level of A what we want we actually want B to be deeper than A so we would swap A and B since uh, level of A is higher than B which indicates A is deeper but we want B to be deeper that's why we would simply swap these two after that we would calculate D which is difference between their uh, levels sorry since B is deeper so level of B minus level of A and while D is greater than 0 everything I explained in the previous lecture in I is equals to log base 2 D and B is equals to LCA of P of I and since we have made a jump of 2 raised to power I T would be reduced by 2 raised to power I after that if a is equals to B simply return A otherwise uh, we would start from max n i is greater than equals to 0 i minus minus we would see whether we can make this jump or not for that what we do we check whether the ith a uh, tourist power ith parent exists or not for that for in A or B it doesn't matter you can check in any of the node so i to this power i th parent of a is not equals to minus one which would indicates that okay to this power i th parent exists after that we also need to check the other condition which is uh to this power i th parent of a and to this power i th parent of b should not match if that is the case a is equals to lc of a of i and b is equals to lc of b of i which indicates we can make a jump of 2 power i and finally return parent of a or parent of b since a and b are on the same level and this was for lca i've explained this whole function in the previous two lectures so just go and watch out that finally we define a function get distance which takes two parameters a and b and returns the distance between these two first we calculate the lca of a and b with get lca function which we have written here so now we know the lca of a and b and the distance would be simply uh, level of a plus level of b minus two times level of their lca this would be the distance so after initialization we would read q the number of queries and while q minus minus uh, scene a b these are two nodes uh, and we have to find the distance between the, these two nodes we can simply call get distance on a and b and this would return the distance between them and finally we are done let's compile and see how many errors do we get yep d or oh, it's lag sorry uh, okay we have got only a single error let's see whether it even works or not because i'm pretty sure it, it won't work so let's build this tree so in this tree we are having 10 nodes that is why 10 and now we have to provide nine number of edges so one is connected to two one is connected to three so one two one three two is connected to six two is connected to nine two six two nine three is connected to four three four six is connected to eight nine is connected to five and four is connected to ten and four is connected to seven finally our tree is ready after that how many queries suppose these many queries it doesn't matter how many queries so we need to find the distance between 1 2 let's find the distance between 1 and 1 the answer should be 0 answer is 0 so it's working uh, distance between 1 and 4 answer is 2 as you can see the distance between 1 and 4 is 2 
uh, distance between 6 and 3 3 because 1 2 and 3 you have to traverse 3 edges distance between 8 and 5 it's 4 1 2 3 4 so the code is working and I am amazed that this is working first attempt usually it doesn't go well so as you can see we have implemented the uh, LCA using binary X uh, binary lifting and then we uh, we have also implemented this get distance query which is nothing but simply finding the L LCA and uh, evaluating this expression so I hope you have learned something from it if you have any kind of query just just post into the comments and I'll also be posting the link to this code so you can check out uh, this code later and if you are beginner in graph theory go check out graph theory uh, series part one because this is advanced series so you might not know most of the thing from this uh, if you are directly starting from part two so thank you guys for watching and i hope this was helpful for you guys and you guys have learned something from it so thank you guys for watching again and till the next video drops keep coding thank you